What up everybody, this is Dallas with Mahalo, and I'm here to teach you iWork, which is Apple's uh, office suite. It uh, has pages, Keynote, and Numbers, which is pages of the word processing program that we're using right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to um, save a template in pages. And the reason this is useful is a lot of times if you, uh, like if you do like a newsletter or there's something that you're gonna repeat on a regular basis, a certain format, structured document that you're gonna use over and over again, then it could be really helpful to save it as a template. So I'm gonna go to Pages, open up Pages, and immediately when I open up Pages, you're gonna see my template chooser. So in the template chooser, you've gotta read a lot of uh, pre-made templates that come with Pages, but we wanna create our own template that we're gonna use in the future, so I'm gonna Select this blank document. And let's say I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff on here that I've added to my template that this is my what my newsletter looks like. Ovals and squares. Okay, so I've created this template and you know maybe I've typed a bunch of stuff on it too. So this is my template. This is my newsletter template that I want to save so that I can come back, you know, every week or every month that I release this newsletter and edit it but keep the same structure. So to save a template. I'm going to go to File, and not Save or Save As, but Save as Template. So I select that, and it's going to give me a window that looks like a Finder window. And this is going to determine where I save it. Now by default, it's going to save to a folder called My Templates. So in the My Templates folder, that's where it's going to save. Now I suggest leaving it there because and if you move it somewhere else, like if you put it on your desktop or in your documents folder or somewhere random, then it's not gonna show up in the template chooser in pages, but that's where we want it to show up because that's the easiest place to access it. So I'm gonna leave it as my templates and I'm gonna save this as my newsletter. And then I'm gonna go down here and click save. So now the super cool thing that just happened is when I close this, uh, don't save that document because I saved it as a template, and I go to new from template chooser, now, down here at the bottom, I have a new category of templates called My Templates. And I've got this super cool newsletter template that I saved. So I can now open it each and every week or month or whenever I need to open it and create a new one. Okay, and so that's how you would save something as a template and you could keep coming back to it every time you need it and it'll be in your template chooser. Um, and I uh, hope that helps you guys out and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.